In this tutorial, we'll explain how to use the quick engrave functionality available in VCarve Pro and Aspire. We're going to use this very simple plaque design to show how we could select the text and scribe or mark the surface using a diamond or we could engrave the text and then go on to select the circles and show how to trepan or to pocket out these areas for mounting. So if we swap from the design view on the left of the screen to the toolpath tab on the right of the screen, you'll see here we can check the material setting. So we've got 0.1 thick material, Z0 on the surface. Let's specify a retract gap of 0.1, 0.1 of an inch. And then at the end of engraving, we'll ask the tool to retract quarter of an inch above the material. Click OK. We just press the letter F to scale the view to fit. The quick engraving toolpath functionality is the last icon on the first row of the toolpath operations menu. If we open the form, first of all, we select the tool that we wish to use. So we've got an option here we can use engraving tools. So we could use a, a 20 degree, a very pointed cutter, say four, th four tenths, or sorry, four thousandths flat. Or we could use a, a diamond drag tool. This, these tools are used for scratching the surface of, of materials such as brass. And uh, instead of engraving, you're literally just scribing the surface. So in this example, we're going to use a, a diamond drag. So diamond, so we've got an eighth of an inch diameter with a 90 degree included angle diamond on the tip of this cutter. And we, when we engrave, it will give us a line width of about 20 thousandths of an inch. We click OK to select that tool. We can then specify a, de a depth or pressure. Now this is not the depth that the cutter is going to machine into the material surface. This is really a, a pressure to load the spring on the cutter. These diamond drag cutters would normally be mounted in a, a spring loaded collet where you have to force the cutter onto the material to so that the cutter stays in contact with uneven surfaces. If you if you specify a, a toolpath that's going to engrave say 10 thousandths deep and the material is not very flat, then you'll get a, a varying uh, quality of engraving. If you're using a diamond drag tool in a spring loaded holder, then you can force the tool onto the material and put the tool under pressure due to the spring. And then the spring f allows the, the diamond or the tip of the engraver to follow the surface regardless of whether it's flat or not. So we'll say let's put it under a pressure of about 0.1 of an inch and we'll select the text and we'll say okay we're going to fill so we're going to scribe inside each of the letters. We'll have a step over of say 30,000. Let's make it slightly smaller. Let's make a step over of say 25,000. <clears> now we could have a, an offset pattern or a hatch pattern. Hatch pattern will give us parallel lines inside the letters, we'll have them cutting or scribing at 45 degrees. If you're using a nose cone, we can say, okay, how deep is the, the tip of the cutter dropping out from the, from the nose cone? Let's say it's dropping out, say, five thousandths of an inch. Okay, so now if we say calculate, in the two-dimensional view, you'll see that we get the, the fill pattern. So here we've said fill with a hatch, so it's given us a hatch pattern. If we say cross hatch and calculate, we get the cross hatching going in both directions. I'm going to switch the cross hatch off for a moment, say recalculate. So we're going to scratch the surface of the material inside the text. If we look in the three dimensional view, so we look at the toolpath, you can see the toolpath that we're going to send to the engraving machine to scratch the surface. If we close the quick engrave form for a moment, there's our toolpath onto our brass plate. We can say preview this toolpath. So the toolpath is selected and preview. So this is going to show us that it's literally just scratching the surface of the plate and giving us a representation of how the, the text will be engraved onto the brass plate. You zoom in. You'll see there that we've got the, the step over spacing. So remember that we use the a step over of 25 thousandths so that's the gap between each line inside each letter and we we've got full control over that 
let's move on and look at uh, trepanning or machining out the uh, the holes for the pockets so we go back to the two-dimensional view we're going to drag and select the top two holes holding the shift key down select the bottom two holes this time we're going to create a pocketing toolpath so we'll say pockets we're going to cut through our 0.1 inch thick plate select the cutter to do this so let's to do this we'll probably use a an angled engraving cutter at 20 thousandths flat on the bottom and now if we say calculate that toolpath you'll see now that the, the toolpath is is running down and pocket machining inside each hole if we preview the toolpath you'll see that the the cut has gone through and it's engraved the each of the tool each of the the holes out in each corner so we can now drill through and screw the the plate to a wall or onto a plaque go back to the design view we can preview the toolpaths in the design view so this shows us what the toolpaths are going to look like there's our little pocketing tool inside the drill hole f to zoom to fit we can now check how long it's going to take to engrave this plaque so estimate the machining time and it's telling us just to scratch the surface it should take approximately five minutes and then about another minute or so to drill out the the four corners once we're happy with the times we select each toolpath save the toolpath now for using one of the engravers that um, that we can send toolpaths directly to for example if you're using a a Roland engraver if we select Roland from the list of post processors so let's say for example it's a Roland uh, EGX and what have we got here let's use the Roland EGX 300 we can say output direct to machine click on the little configure button you should then have the the Roland printer driver installed on the PC after clicking this button you select the printer driver and then you can send the toolpath data for each toolpath in turn straight to the machine and it will then engrave the plate for you thank you for watching the tutorial